There's only so many ways you can fuck it up, you know. Didn't find anything, so just pretend I said something funny. You're telling me you couldn't you couldn't minutes. Google one one joke that had the number 23 in it? They were bad. Okay. Okay. And I can maybe believe you. I can maybe believe you. Now I'm kind of curious. Jokes about the number 23. Okay, here you go. Here's the first one I found. My daughter informed me that the earth is tilted at a 23.5 degree angle. I responded, that's not right. With a with a scowl, she pulled up Google and proved to me that the earth is in fact tilted at a 23.5 degree angle. Precisely, I agreed. If the angle were right, it would be 90. Cause like, cause like, it's not like, cause he said that's not right. You know? Who? This guy stinks. Um. Okay, hold on. Okay, here you go. Here's a here's another one. My last 15 minutes is a 23 year old. It's not my birthday, Ooh, tomato, but tomato. a scary looking man with a crowbar just broke into my house. So so get it because he's about to get murdered. So that's why it's his last 15 minutes as a 23 year old. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine, moving on. Okay, we're gonna get one. We're gonna get one. Get, get, get a good one. What do you get if you mash 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd avocados? Guacamole. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> what? A mole is a measurement? But it's okay. No, I, I, I guess I'm not much of a, I'm, I'm not much of a chemist. So I guess on to the next one. On the next one. At 23:59, December 12th, 2015, I raised my left foot off the ground. Just to be sure, I start 2016 on the right foot. We are the joke for listening to this. Uh, wait, this one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, I don't. Okay, no, I need to read. I need to read it, and the delivery will will deliver itself. Like most people my age, I'm 23. Because <laughs> like, they're like the same age, so like they have that. They have that in common. That was good. I need someone to pull your no. Okay, here, here's a good one. Here's a little math one. Okay, so get ready. I'm 23 years old. Truly in my prime. Cause it's cause it's like a, a prime number. Okay, here here you go. The number 23 is about to get funny. I was curious what my parents did for fun before the internet. I asked my 23 siblings, they didn't know either. <laughs> I I can explain it. So it was like, oh, what did the parents do for fun? And it's like, oh, they have 23 siblings. So basically, for everyone that doesn't get it, what the parents do for fun is Can you play at bang. Play? Please stop this madness. And that's the result of having so many kids. Because you might think, oh, I don't get it. How is having 23 siblings fun? Dude's first stand up is to an empty room. And the crowd is going mild. Here you go, though. I feel like this could be a good one. I, it's a math one, so hear me out, okay? It, it's a bit of a buildup, but the payoff the will be legendary. Shut up! I'm telling jokes. In geometry class, the teacher went up to the board and do, drew a 23-degree angle. She then drew a 67-degree angle. The class was astonished when the angles started talking. The first one said, That's a lovely blouse you're wearing. And the second one chimed in, And I love... What you've done with your hair. The students asked the teacher if she knew what she was going on. She sighed and said, Well, these angles are supposed to be complimentary. But I guess they don't know how to spell. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> okay, that one, that one was on me. I feel like the delivery wasn't there. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Okay, this one has like a bit of like a, like a pun. Okay. Did you hear about the murder victim they found whose body was stretched out to 23 feet? Poor guy was long dead. Like... <laughs> this is such a good show on mute. That's crazy. Okay, 
Okay, here's a here's a bit of a setup. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. We're just gonna follow. We're just gonna follow through with it. We're just gonna we're just gonna start it. Okay. I see it's like a few sentences long. So here you go. Let remember. Let the build up happen. Okay. Let the build up happen, and the payoff will be huge. After my retirement from the company I worked at for 45 years, I look forward to some relaxation time. But my wife had other ideas. She insisted I take her to the local shopping center every day. Like most men, I found shopping boring and for her to get in and out. Uh, she's like most women, loves to browse and leaves me with endless time to fulfill. Yesterday, my dear wife received the following letter from the local shopping center. Dear Mrs. Rogers, over the past six months, your husband has caused quite a commotion in our store. We cannot tolerate this behavior and have been forced to ban both of you from the store. Our, our complaints against your husband, Mr. Rogers, are listed below and are documented by our vid video surveillance cameras. This is what happened on June 15th. <laughs> he took 24 boxes of condoms and randomly put them in other people's carts when they weren't looking. On July 2nd, sent all the alarm clocks in housewares to go off at a five minute interval. On July 7th, he made a trail of tomato juice on the floor Leading to a woman's restroom. This is... I'm glad I've started this. On July 19th, walked up to an employee and told her in an official voice, Code 3 and housewares, get on it right away. This caused the employee to leave her assigned station, receive a reprimand from her supervisor that in turn resulted with a union grievance, causing management to lose time and costing the company money. We don't have a Code 3. On August 4th, Went to the service desk and tried to put a bag of M&Ms on layaway. August 14th, moved a caution wet floor sign. On August 15th, set up a tent in the camping department and told children drivers he'd invite them if they would refill his place from the bedding department, which 23 children obliged. Perfect, That there's our 23. August 24th, when a clerk asked if they could help him, he began crying and screamed, why can't you people just leave me alone? On September 4th, Looked right into the security camera and used it as a mirror to pick his nose. September 10th, while holding, while handling guns in the hunting department, he asked the clerk where the antidepressants were. On October 3rd, darted around the store suspiciously while loudly humming Mission Impossible. On October 6th, in the auto department, he practiced his Madonna look. On October 9th, hid it in a clothing rack. On October 10th, when an announcement came over a loudspeaker, he assumed a fetal position. Um, on October 23rd, a box of condoms at the checkout clerk and asked, where is the fitting room? And last but not least, on October 23rd, went into a fitting room, shut the door, waited a while, then yelled very loudly, Hey, there's no toilet paper in here. I feel like the payoff was pretty big. I feel like... No. No. Okay, one more. I'm gonna pick one more. One more short one to the point. We're gonna we're gonna end on a strong note in honor of the number twenty three. There's gotta be one. There's gotta be one banger. Um, give it a second. Wait. Okay, wait. Yeah. Th this this. Okay. Here we go. What do you call a head of lettuce that's been stabbed twenty three times? A Caesar salad. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for having me. Tonight's special was the number 23 and all of its hilarious angles. I will sadly not be back anytime ever with this uh, comedy special. But stay tuned. The next comedy special, The Magic of 24. Thank you, guys. Please stop. Stop applauding. Stop applauding. Um, please, to stop. Stop. Listen, it's, it's fine. Okay, fine. You can go. You can go again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Encore? Encore? No. No. Guys. Guys, that's it. The show's over. Thank you. Good night.